Hey YouTube, it's your host i2i35, and in this in this video, I'm going to be discussing uh, giving answers to the Jonah story c critics out there who say, oh, it's not impossible, how could a man get swallowed by a whale and then spat up uh, several days later? Um, and also, they try to say, oh, in the book of Jonah, it says he was swallowed by a great fish. And then in the book of Matthew, it says the whale, that, that was a specific name, what it actually was, in the whale's belly. And they're going to say, oh, see, uh, the Bible's wrong, a whale's not a fish, ha, ha, ha. Well, in our modern 21st century classification system, a whale's not a fish. But in biblical classification back then, a whale's a fish. If it swims in the water, a dolphin is a fish in biblical classification, okay? So this is another example of why you can't take, you know, Carolus Linnaeus' classification system in the last 200 years and superimpose that on the Bible and call the Bible wrong, okay? A whale and a fish are the same thing in biblical classification. But anyway, they try to say, oh, this story never existed. Well, I'm sure a lot of you know about this, Ripley's Believe It or Not. And on page 79, it has this section right here about real-life Jonahs. You know, they have the same story of Jonah being swallowed by uh, a great whale and then several days later being spat up on the shore, either unconscious or still alive and actually kind of smelly. And so, like, no, that's not a fairy tale story. Things like this have happened in real life. And they're trying to say real-life Jonahs. Well, Jonah was a real-life man. I'm sure it still happened. And they... Like, the Bible's not just a book of do's and don'ts or, like, made-up stories or, you know, I don't think you should really underestimate the Jewish authors of this, of, of, of the Bible. The Jewish people are some of the most incredibly intelligent and smart people in the world. They know what they are talking about. The Bible is also historically, spiritually, significantly, biographically, and scientifically accurate, and so on. And so, like... Underestimating it just like that is really shallow thinking. You really ought to go out and study the evidence for yourself instead of just um, jumping to conclusions, okay? You ought to think about it long and hard before you jump to conclusions. And that's proper logical thinking I try to give across to people.